So today I'll be showing you how to set up a Fitbit Versa 4 with any Android phone. So this is a step-by-step -step guide for beginners. This is how you set up your Fitbit with any Android phone. So the first thing you want to do is obviously switch on the Fitbit as soon as it comes out of the box. You should see the Fitbit logo. And then you'll see the option to choose language. Okay, so tap on English. And then now it's going to give instructions to install the Fitbit app onto your phone. Now, for some phones, you might find uh, this pop-up. Now, I'm not going to use this pop-up because it might not appear on all phones. So I'll just skip that and I'll go through the old uh, process. So go to the Play Store and download and install Fitbit. So go to the App Store and search for Fitbit. You should find Fitbit there, that's the app. So go ahead and install that application. And with the app installed, you can launch it either from here or you can simply go to the app draw and find the application there and launch it from there. Whichever way you choose, it's up to you. Now, if you don't have an account, then tap on join Fitbit and that will take you through the process of creating an account. If you do already have a Fitbit account, then simply tap on login and log in straight into your account. Now, since I have an account, I'm gonna go ahead and log in. If you don't have one, please uh, choose the join Fitbit and sign up for an account. So let me quickly log in. And with my account logged in, uh, it might ask for permission to access location services and, uh, and background location permission. You can enable this or you can simply tap on continue without location and you can come back and set that up later. Now I'm completely logged into my Fitbit account. Now what you want to do is simply go to the top left corner and tap on your avatar right there. And then select, uh, you can see I already have a Versa 4. Uh, what I need to do now is set up a new device. So select Versa 4 and it's going to ask me if I want to replace with new device and simply select replace with new device because I had a previous uh, Versa 4 that I'd linked to my account. So I'll tap on replace. This is only for me. You might not see this if it's the first time you're setting up a Fitbit device. So right now it says nearby permission required to pair. And you might need to grant the nearby permission. So tap on that and then go to settings. It's going to take you to your settings. And then that will take you to the uh, Fitbit app settings page. Go to permissions. Under app permissions, then you can uh, look for nearby devices and give that permission. So allow and that's it. Once you allow, you can now go back to the Fitbit app. Uh, read the privacy uh, policy and accept. And then the next thing you want to do is connect the Fitbit to charge. So there's a charging cable that comes in your box. So just connect one end to the power source and this other end to your Fitbit, just like that. Let it charge. And as it charges, just simply go ahead and tap on next. So it says Fitbit needs your location for some features. You can continue without location for now. And then hit next again. And currently it's connecting. So you're going to see a code on the screen of your Fitbit Versa 4 and a text box here. So enter this code here. So 5176 is my code. And as soon as I enter, it's going to start the pairing process of the watch to the phone. So you can see the check mark there that says it's been connected.
it's going to be a Bluetooth pairing request. So accept that by tapping on pair because uh, because obviously the, the, the phone connects and communicates to the watch via Bluetooth. Now at this point you can actually disconnect the charging cable. Uh, protect your new device, they're going to try and give you some protection plan, so you can just tap on not now. Now the next crucial step is to update your your watch firmware. So that's the next crucial step before you proceed. So it's going to prompt you to update your Fitbit Versa 4. So go ahead and tap on update. And you should see uh, the download progress begin. And on your watch, it's going to start saying updating. So all you can do at this point is simply wait for this process to finish. Once the update is complete, it will let you know the Versa 4 is updated. So just hit on continue. Uh, it's going to tell you a few things about voice privacy. You can just tap on that. If you want to set up Amazon Alexa, you can do that by tapping on get started. Or you can skip that for now by tapping on not now at the top there. And then you have permissions to uh, access calls and texts. You can set that up by selecting it or you can do that later if you want to. So let me just set it up for now for phone calls, uh, for messages, allow. Okay, and then hit skip and then hit skip again. Uh, swipe down for common watch settings and modes. This is basically a tutorial telling you how to use your Fitbit. Okay, the Fitbit is all set up as you can see. It's going to tell you how to swipe from down up, how to swipe from up down, how to swipe sideways. This is basically a tutorial to uh, start using your Fitbit Versa 4. Next, they are going to ask you to try it on. Tap on done. Now at the end, they're going to try and sell you the premium uh, service for Fitbit. You can do that if you want to. If you want to pay for the extra features, you can skip that by tapping on this uh, X icon at the top left corner. And that's it. We are now all set up and ready to go. So that's basically how to set up the Fitbit. There is a Fitbit app. That's the homepage. Uh, if you want to access some of the settings, you simply go to your Versa 4, access the settings from there, do what, to, do what you need to do from there. And that's basically how to set up your Fitbit Versa 4 with your Android phone. This is a step-by-step -step process. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below and good luck.